Hi, I'm Maddie Weber, and this year I'm serving as the Washington FFA State Treasurer, and I'm originally from the Pullman FFA Chapter. My name is Dane Booth from the Oakville FFA Chapter. Hi, my name is Esther. I am serving this year as the Washington FFA State Secretary. I'm originally from the Rochester FFA Chapter. My name is Cody Thomas, and I'm from the Pullman FFA Chapter. Hi, I'm Lillian. I'm this year's state reporter, and I'm originally from the Lacrosse FFA Chapter in Lacrosse. Hi, I'm Chloe Troxler, and I'm from the Eastmont FFA Chapter. My name is Sydney, and I'm from the Oaksdale Chapter. Um, my position on the team is Sentinel. Hey, y'all. My name is Artha Jonasa, and I was a member of the Okeechobee Yearling and Okeechobee Brahmin FFA Chapters. My advisors inspired me so much with his time and dedication to our chapter. He's there at the school for 12 hours a day. It's crazy to think that he puts that much time into this organization, but I'm just so lucky to have someone like that as an advisor. And um, he's just been so inspirational to me and to so many people in our chapter because he's there to help us out whenever we might need it. And um, I just hope to be someone like that to other people as well. And it's even inspired me to consider being an advisor someday too, um, because he's just made it look like an amazing job. I think uh, my advisors have really helped guide me and everyone else through our FFA journey and helped us figure out what's right for us and through competitions and act different activities. My advisors constantly inspire me. They are always willing to go the extra mile, always willing to push students to succeed. And I think that is incredible just because they have such a passion for what they do and they have such a passion for the students that they, they impact. And I think that um, without them, our chapter wouldn't be what it is, and I think that without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mr. Matthews inspires me by always uh, making sure that we're coming to our practices. He's very dedicated to us and all of our competitions, and he wants to make sure that we're having as much fun as he's having with us. My advisor always inspired every one of our students, whether they were just coming in as a seventh grader or a senior to try something new, whether that be something that you had a whole bunch of experience in or something that you had zero experience in, she was always there to lend a helping hand and tell you to try something new, even if it was something that you didn't super know about. My advisor inspires me by always being my number one supporter, and she's always there no matter what. I think that my advisor has helped me so much because like when I was a freshman, similar to your story, I was kind of pulled into Creed and something like that and I think that if I hadn't been pulled into Creed or I hadn't been pulled into other events I wouldn't have been as involved in the FFA. I think like my advisor kind of pulled me into district a district officer position as well and I think that her doing that piqued my interest um, and I think that those were all I mean really good things that she did and I don't think if she hadn't done that I wouldn't be near where I am right now. My advisor, Mr. Buddy Mills, inspired me by seeing the very best in each and every one of his students. It was so amazing the way in which a student could walk into his classroom and he could automatically find the right SAE or CDE for a student and find a way that they could be the most impactful within their time in the blue jacket. That looked like pushing some of us to run for state and eventually national office. It looked like some people developing their own business. It looked like some people winning trophies and plaques and medals through their career development events. It was always so amazing how he was able to bring out the best in every single one of his students. My advisor has had a huge impact on my chapter. Throughout the time that I was in FFA, I saw that he was just so open and willing to um, new ideas, anyone joining FFA, whether or not they had an ag background or not. So just all of those things that he did um, to make everybody feel accepted in FFA has had a huge impact on our chapter. And just his excitement for the organization has really just shown everybody that FFA is so cool and so fun. And I just loved seeing that from my advisor. Having the Morris here is just really beneficial. They know what they've been doing, they've been doing it for a lot of a long time, and they're really helpful to all of us. And it's just really a lot more fun having them here. Obviously, without advisors, we wouldn't have chapters, um, but my advisors have impacted my chapter a lot. I think because I come from a smaller chapter, um, sometimes it can be a little odd to think about, like, oh, how does your advisor impact it other than running it? And 
without like their constant support and encouragement and willingness to tr try out ideas that FFA members have had, our chapter wouldn't be where it is. They have like this ability to take on these ideas that students have, help us hone them down um, and make them plausible. And then we actually get to execute them and see how they work out. And so just that willingness to try new things and um, open the door to things that students maybe thought were, well, I'll just pitch it, but it'll probably get shut down. And so they've just impacted my chapter a lot like that by being willing to try new things and being willing to take students' ideas into account. He's impacted us in many ways. He is, like I mentioned before, he's very dedicated to us as individuals and the work that we put out. My advisor impacted my chapter by really just making it a place where everyone could belong and everyone could try, even if they had no experience in what they were doing. So I came from a super small school. It was a single advisor program. So only about like 25 kids in my high school. And she was always there to take a kid and teach them whatever they wanted to do, whatever she thought could make them successful and spend all of her time to do that. My advisor impacts our chapter by always sacrificing her time to help us. If you have an advisor who's, you know, not, bringing the chapter along or, or keeping the chapter up to where it should be, I feel like that can hurt the chapter. So having a, an advisor that, you know, really enforces our official dress, really enforces being super professional when we're, you know, at a competition or things like that, that, um, you know, wants us to do competitions, wants us to be prepared for competitions, like that can make or break or check can make or break a chapter because you can have a student that's really good at a competition but if their advisor is not there encouraging that or bringing them there or giving them the feedback and advice that they need they're not going to succeed. My advisor Mr. Buddy Mills impacts our chapter or impacted our chapter in the way that he never let us settle for complacency it, because he was so good at seeing how much potential we had, he also never let us settle for less. He always pushed us to do our very best in anything that we started, especially as it pertained to our FFA chapter. And because of that, we found a lot of success, both in material wins, but also in our personal development, most of all. Um, and that's still something that I carry with me today. Um, because I can do more, I should, and I always do. Thanks, Mr. Mills. The best piece of advice that my advisor gave me was just to try new things, whether that was trying to be the next junior officer uh, for Pullman FFA, or if that was trying out to be a state officer now. Um, that That's just really something that I've kept um, with me throughout everything that I've done, and even until now, just to try new things and just be um, able and flexible and um, just excited about new opportunities. So that was the biggest piece of advice that I've gotten from my advisor. I think one piece of advice that my advisors have given me that has stuck with me is definitely not in these words, but basically if you've considered it, you owe yourself, like you owe yourself the right to try it. Um, and that rang true a lot when it came to state office because I considered it and obviously like there were pros and there were cons. Like I would have to skip or not skip or like take a break year between now and college. Um, what if I didn't get it? Uh, there were just so many things and I was just so unsure because I was like, well, I don't know if I want to put myself out there. And um, one of them told me like, hey, you've given it serious consideration. You it, this is something you are passionate about. This is something you're willing to put the time into to try. So you owe yourself tr to try it. Like you owe yourself that chance. Because um, if you don't take it, then you will never know what would have happened. And so that's just stuck with me. And I think that's rang true for a lot of different things, whether it's different scholarship opportunities, college applications, different opportunities that have presented themselves. Um, and I think that that will continue to stick with me for a very long time. We only have one high school experience so do as many competitions as you can, be able to participate in as many events as you can, because you're not always going to have these opportunities, so you've got to take advantage of them while you can. One piece of advice that my advisor had given me that kind of really stuck with me over the years was to just, no matter what you're doing, make sure to give it your all. Like, it doesn't matter if you're trying something for the first time, if you're an absolute pro, whether you want to be there or not. If you're going to at least attempt something, whatever that be, a contest, a paper, whatever you're doing, at least give it your all. Don't just kind of show up and not fully try, but you have to, no matter what you're doing, always be there and always put in 100%. I think just 
just my advisor telling me that like it's okay to fail like it's okay to try out a competition and be terrible at it you know it's it's all about a learning experience it's all about the preparation that goes into it you know if you get up there and you completely forget everything like that's totally fine as long as you put in all your effort you put your best foot forward the whole entire time that's what truly can make your career that's what can make um you know that those are the things that prepare you for the future versus you know getting first like the, the pre preparation is what gets you there and i think just having an advisor that really focuses on one piece of advice that my advisor gave me um, that has stuck with me since happened at probably like my second convention that I ever went to, my second state convention that I ever went to. And we were watching as the new state officers were being installed to their respective positions and they got their new jackets. And it's a very emotional moment for lots of students and advisors. And it was just like this culmination of an incredible FFA career. And I remember I was in like eighth grade. I was sitting right next to him and he looks at me and he said something to the effect of, um, I want to see you do this one day, but I can't want it more than you. Um, and that latter part of I can't want it more than you was his way of saying that I know that you're capable of greatness, but you have to know that you're capable of greatness. And you also have to put in the work in order to get to that stage and to get to that moment in your FFA career. So I even say that now in a very like lighthearted manner, like when I'm watching sports and I'm like, I can't want it more than you um, in regard to like wanting my favorite team to win or my favorite player to play well. Um, just as a reminder that like the only person who can ultimately um, hold success, your own success accountable is yourself. Um, and I'm really, really grateful that he made me realize the only thing person standing in between me and my dreams was me. to my advisor I would tell him thank you so much for pushing me because I wouldn't be in this position that I'm in today without you also thank you so much from everybody in my chapter because I know that we're all just so grateful for all the time and the effort that you've put into Poland FFA to making it what it is today um we have so many dedicated and amazing members and that's all thanks to you so thank you so much for being such a great advisor and a great resource for everybody um whenever we might need it so thank you so much miss matthews for being a great advisor thank you for guiding me through my ethic experience you helped so much and we appreciate it first off it would say thank you it would say thank you for the time you put in the tears that you have sat through and talked me through um getting past and thank you for your willingness to have faith in me i think that without that faith, without the trust that they gave me because they trusted me to do what was right and they trusted me to always put the work forward that needed to be done, um, I wouldn't be where I am and I wouldn't be who I am today. Um, their support has meant the absolute world to me and I want them to know that, so I, I would tell them that. And um, I would just say continue also, like continue being... The advisors that you are because without people like you supporting students and being willing to take a chance on students we wouldn't have the success we would have we wouldn't have the future leaders that FFA cultivates so thank you thank you for believing in me and putting time into me and giving me the opportunities that I have to make a difference I would say thank you so much for making me the person that I am today you've taught me so much about courage and hard work, and I know I wouldn't be standing where I am today without your years of guidance. You've always gone above and beyond and given your all to every single student that's ever been in your program, and I cannot thank you enough for the five years you spent as my advisor. I'd say thank you for always pushing me outside my comfort, comfort zone and making me a better FFA member than I once was. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for seeing something in me that I didn't necessarily see. Um, you know, knowing like, hey, I think that this person is really fit for a competition that they might not agree with or they might not think that they're fit for, just an advisor that sees that in them. So I would just say, you know, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for um, putting trust in me for a team activity or, um, you know, putting trust in me to represent our chapter and giving me those opportunities. 
If I were writing a note to Mr. Buddy Mills to thank him, it would definitely say something to the effect of thank you for all that you have poured into me and all that you have poured into me has allowed me to pour into others. And for that, I am indebted to you, Mr. Mills. I'd also like to just give him the reminder that all of the things that I have done, the places that I've been, the people that I have met, none of that would be possible without his love and his grace and his um, push that happened all of those years ago, over 10 years ago now, um, as I reflect on my FFA career. Um, none of this would be possible if not for all that he's given me. So thank you so much, Mr. Mills. I am here. I am where I am. I am who I am because of all that you have done for me.